it was important to provide an opportunity for underrepresented minorities and persons with disabilities, a space to bring them together to have that shared experience. I wish I had had something like this when I was a student. The difference that this conference can achieve is really changing the landscape for students, underrepresented minorities, individuals with disabilities by ensuring that there is a place for them, ensuring that they are supposed to be here, um, and that experience, their diverse experience, is actually important and will make a difference in the world. It includes people with disabilities who have many of the same challenges as underrepresented minorities. And so I'm really pleased. I think this is a great way to get graduate students, beginning graduate students, to think about their careers, to think about what they're going to do next, how they're going to find a, a mentor or an advisor. For me, I think the last year was great because I did my dissertation proposal. So I'm in the later stages of my PhD compared to Matthew. So it was nice to talk with more people about tenure, for example, what professorship looks like, how I can change to different jobs within industry or academia, and how I can go back and forth between different careers. So I've really learned a lot here about my future. My school studies has been mostly focused on research, and I didn't really think about what to do after that in my professional career. I've been so focused on my work in the lab. And so now that that time is coming closer, it's been wonderful for me to be forced to think about that and to be here where I can ask people about those questions and learn more about those paths. I had a chance to speak with a researcher from Microsoft. It was then that I realized the potential for my future. Fantastic. If other tech companies could join in and become sponsors for the URMD workshop, I think it's incredibly important that we give equal opportunity to people who are underserved. And sometimes in the tech industry, we are reluctant to break out of our networks. And so by sponsoring this workshop, not only are you saying and committing to helping people who are underserved, but you're also finally connecting with individuals in this space in an authentic and meaningful way. Sitting at the booth and engaging with all these amazing um, potential candidates that could work Facebook, I quickly realized some of the struggles they had. And so just listening to their stories, understanding them, and then bringing that feedback to Facebook and sharing those insights will allow us to build better uh, processes on how we interview, how we engage with candidates, how we find them. One of the things that I personally have appreciated about participating is the number of students with disabilities and all the different disabilities that I, I don't think I fully appreciated until coming here and interacting with everybody. So it's, it's been a really great conference for me personally. Um, I have loved interacting with the students. Um, I feel like I have been able to provide some guidance and support. Not much has changed since I was a graduate student and we're all dealing with the same type of issues, um, especially in the front of human, human interaction. I think that especially if you're in school and you're trying to get where all these speakers or the sponsors are, like it is sometimes a bit intimidating to go and say, hey, I'm so and so. And just being able to have it be accessible in a way that it doesn't feel intimidating, um, that was awesome hearing some of their stories and saying, oh, I'm not alone. Oh, okay, they experienced something like I experienced. Um, I think for me, that was a thing. It wasn't necessarily a thing I learned, but it was a good thing to experience. Greg Corridor has already enhanced my career by introducing me to other individuals who look like me and with different ideas. This is a wonderful opportunity to start increasing the representation so that we can actually um, make institutions and corporations and universities stronger. I go to Cornell Tech, so I'm definitely, I'm actually profoundly deaf, so I don't know a lot of people in my program that have a disability like myself. And so coming here and meeting people with disabilities uh, has been really empowering me, so I can kind of take those experiences and bring it back to Cornell Tech, because when you're always at school, you, you forget that there's other people like you. So coming here, I've had a lot of great conversations with uh, people who are deaf or have another uh, type of disability um, and the kind of research that they're doing and it's really uh, exciting to see that a lot of the research people are doing is kind of connected to their disability. As a student I thought it was really nice to have a deaf presenter. I came here and had someone that I could relate to on the stage not just in the audience so I like that very much and I hope that the next conference uh, workshop will also have a deaf presenter again. As a deaf presenter it was nice to be able to share my experiences with a wide audience. 
and to help them understand some of the unique challenges that deaf people face and people with disabilities face in terms of their identity, in terms of the challenges that they may run into, um, some of the overlaps between our different identities. These opportunities would not be possible for these participants without the support of the National Science Foundation, the Department of Energy, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Intel, um, Access Computing, the Computing Research Association, um, and all of our sponsors. But it's about that intellectual, um, that intellectual piece, and just bringing people together uh, to to have really um, powerful discussions, right? Life-changing experiences. Uh, they come, they have wonderful time. They're able to network and make connections, and and people end up doing research down the road. Uh, together, um, and so it, it makes a huge difference.